YouTube, what's up? It is the Anonymous Sneakerhead. I'm back with another video for y'all today, man. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, follow my Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. Now, let's get into today's video. All right, y'all, so I got something a little different for y'all today. Um, I'm just going to call this Sneaker Talk. Um, just talk about everything that's going on in sneakers, everything that happened in the past couple weeks and what to look forward to in the next couple weeks and really um, in the next year. First of all, the date is December 20th, Friday, December 20th, and it is 9.54 a.m. So you know what that means, 10 o'clock, something's going to drop. What's dropping today? Um, that is the, the pack of the three Nike SB off-white dunks. So I have an alarm set for 9.59. <clears throat> I have one set on my watch for 9.58, so I know it's getting close. But um, when those go off, I'm going to hop up in the sneakers app. I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see the process. And hopefully, I can grab one of those. And if not, I think I might grab those Animal Pack 3s because those are still sitting. Um, and that's a perfect segue to get into the rest of this video, the rest of this sneaker talk. So just talking about the, the Animal Pack 3s or the Animal Instinct 3s that dropped yesterday. Um, no one really knew how limited they were going to be. We did know that they were... And store releases were only releasing in two um, stores, one in, I think, Chicago and I think the other one in L.A. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it's a sleeper shoe, man. I think it's a shoe that people are definitely sleeping on. The only reason why I didn't go ahead and get it yesterday is that $225 price tag and it's Christmas season. You know what I'm saying? I still got a couple Christmas gifts to buy, um, so I didn't want to get those and get these off-white dunks. Well, let's be honest, I probably... Won't get the off-white dunks because we know how that works with uh, Nike sneaker raffles, but we'll see. Um, but I'm going to try to get those. I kind of like the dunks more. Um, but yeah, man, I think people are definitely sleeping on those, especially um, I think the, the value of them is definitely going to go up again this time next year because they are planning on, there's rumors that they're planning on expanding the animal pack, which next year they'll be doing, um, I think it's going to be like different reptile skins. So like this one has different furs. You know what I'm saying? It has like the, the leopard, the cheetah, the zebra fur, that black cat. Not the black cat for, fur, but um, I forgot what the collab was that we saw on that on that fur earlier this year. I'll put a picture of it right here. I forgot what it was called. Um, but yeah, so that's something that I'm really excited about. We got the fur animal pack, and I think next year we might get the, um, <clears throat> what's it called? The, the reptile pack with alligator skin, snake skins, things like that. Um, something that... I'm um, also like found kind of interesting was that give me a second I found it a little interesting that since it is an animal pack I can't get them out right now since it is an animal pack you would think that we would see somewhere because it's like safari animals you know what I'm saying zebras um, whatever that black animal is we'll call it a panther um, jaguars cheetahs things like that you would think that they would somehow incorporate the elephant print that was already on a three but as you can see it's not on there but i don't know i thought it would be cool if they did incorporate somehow the animal print into the shoe um <clears throat> but yeah guys so that's that uh we have what else did we have drop we had the bread 11s that dropped last week <clears throat> i know that there have been some reports of them sitting in stores um especially in toddlers and grade school sizes um, I know a lot of people that are trying to resell still have pairs and they're not reselling for too much. Um, I see them all going. My alarm's going off right now, so that must be 9.58. Um, so we'll get ready for this raffle. Um, but yeah, guys, I see them. I see the Bread 11s going for only like $300, which is not bad considering they, they retailed at $220. Um, so if you need a pair of those, definitely go get a pair of those because it's, it's a shoe that the price, we probably won't get another Bread 11 for at least seven years. Um, that seems to be the pattern. Uh, so make sure you go get them now while they're still cheap. Once we get into 2020 and 2022 and 23, and we still don't have a bread 11, then the price will just rise and rise and rise for dead stock pairs because they'll come become less and less common. Um, that, which is why I'm keeping mine on ice for a while. I sold the other pair that I got in already for, like I said, $300. Oh, 959. So we have one minute. So I'm going to start a screen record right here. Let me make sure it started. All right, so I've got a screen record started right here. It's going to be up on the screen. Um, and now let's get into Nike sneakers app.
Wait for it to load, it's 9.59, we still have a minute. I just wanna make sure the app is open, and here we go. So you guys can see them right here, the Nike Off-White Dunks in the three different colorways. You got the UNLV colorway, you got that Pine Green, which isn't uh, affiliated with a school, but that's the one I'm gonna go after. Ooh, and you got the, let's wait for it to load, if it wants to load. There's <clears throat> probably a lot of people on the site right now, and you have these right here, the Michigans. So the dunk is definitely coming back. I think I called this in a couple videos earlier in the year. We got the, I forgot what collab it was first that had the Jordan 6 tongue in it. Um, and we've been getting a bunch of different dunks. We just got the Viotech release, which was the big one. We're getting these, and I know 2020 is supposed to be the year of the dunk. Yup, there's my notifications. Drawing is now open. It is 10 o'clock, let's do it. Enter draw. Dunk low. Here we go. Here goes the waiting game. Um, we know how that goes. I'm gonna black out everything right there because you know you guys don't need to see my information. All you need to know is that it's my size and that this costs $170 plus tax. So my entry is submitted. Thank you for thank you for your entry for the Nike Times Off White Dunk Low. You will be notified if you've been selected. If chosen, your purchase will be processed automatically. Okay. So the draw is entered. So here's the countdown. Y'all can see it. And um, we'll wait until the 15 minutes are up. And we'll see if I won the draw. So for now, I'm just going to... Yeah, we'll just leave that there. Um, I'll leave my phone sitting right here. 15 minutes. We got the draw. All right, guys. So yeah, where did I leave off? I left off talking about the Bread 11. So that obviously changed a lot um, for, for the month of December. And I think after today... Um, by, probably even by the time I publish this video, man. After today, all the shoes that you guys slept on, um, you're definitely gonna want to. Um, all the shoes that you got that you guys slept on, you're definitely gonna want to put get your hands on and and buy them as soon as possible. For example, I, I interviewed or not interviewed. <laughs> I reviewed the Off White Times Nike Waffle Racer um, about a couple days ago, like four or five days ago. Um, you can see them right here. But that's a shoe that I think the only reason why it's sitting is because a lot of people were, those came out December 12th, if I'm correct. And then we had the Bread 11s come out for 200, those came out December 10th for December, yeah, December 12th, sorry, for 200, for $150, sorry, I'm all messed up here with the numbers. Then we had the Bread 11s come out for 220 on December 14th, so I think that's part of the reason why people didn't buy those. And also, obviously, we have these uh, off-white dunks that are coming out. That I think are way more popular than the Waffle Rapers or even the Kiger Fives and especially um, the Blazer Streets. And then we also had the Animal Packs yesterday that I know a lot of people were saving up for. We didn't know how limited they were going to be. Everybody that wanted a pair got a pair. Um, and yeah, it's just been a bunch of shoes coming out um, in this month of December. It's been a really big month as far as sneaker drops are concerned. And I know there's a lot of things to look forward to in 2020. Um, so that's uh, pretty much all I have for the month of December with you guys. Obviously, wait, I forgot to mention all of the Adidas stuff. We've been getting the, all of the retro. We got the Yeez Rules, the Yechos, which a lot of people like. I don't get it. Um, the Yechos, the Yechos, whatever you want to call them. They're basically like a pirate black with a little color in them. Um, or a static black with a little color in them. Sorry, we got the Zebras coming back. Um, so and we got the the 500s. We got a bunch of different Yeezys coming out this month. So the combination of Adidas, Nike drops, um, Jordan drops, everything. I mean, even Russell Westbrook. I really think his his no noise signature shoe is fire. Um, there's been so many shoes dropping in the month of December. So I think that's why you see a lot of things sit that you wouldn't usually expect to sit. But at least on the Nike end, today is what I see being the last like big day as far as like drops are concerned there's one more shoe coming out um this month that i think is pretty exciting it's coming out on christmas and let me grab a version of it and i'll show you why i'm not gonna go for it um you guys saw a video i did on it earlier it did pretty well as far as views and likes are concerned but um on christmas we're getting the the lebron 17 uninterrupted shoe the more than an athlete shoe and it's really interesting um i'm not it's not that I don't like how the LeBron 17 looks. It's just um, for, it's a it's a performance only shoe really. It's hard to wear with just the outfit and I already have my shoe that I'm playing ball and I'm playing ball in 
the SpongeBob and Patrick Kyrie's right there. You guys can see him in the back. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm balling in. But basically, it's just continuing on this shoe right here that LeBron had a lot to do with with Uninterrupted, and that is the Uninterrupted More Than Air Force One. Um, you got your More Than Blue on the laces here. And I think this is a shoe now that now that the 17 is coming out, you kind of have a pack building. So the, the value on these might go up. So definitely go grab you a pair now. Um, I could see people going after these to have so they can say they have both these and the LeBrons, but I already have these. I like how these look with a fit, so I'm just gonna keep these and I'm not gonna go after the LeBrons unless maybe for whatever reason they're sitting um, a few weeks or months down the line, but I doubt they'll be sitting that long. So there is another sneaker um, that was announced. I don't think it's coming out in December. It looks like it's probably gonna be a 2020 release. We don't have an official release date on it, but this is for all of the, the OD hype beasts out there. This is why um, I can't mess with some of y'all, man. Um, so this past year, arguably, I'm gonna do a countdown of my top 10 pickups and my top 10 sneakers of the year, like stuff that I didn't pick up, but that I do think deserve to be in the top 10. It's probably gonna be two different videos. But Travis Scott pretty much ran this year, you know what I'm saying, with the one highs, the one lows, the sixes. Um, and and uh, the Air Force ones were, uh, I won't put them on the list, but Travis Scott ran the year, man. He had some good drops, some good collabs, but it was recently announced that he's coming out with these. And I think, look at these, man. I think that these are trash. Um, the Travis Scott, uh, what are they, the, the 270 Reacts or the React 270s, I forgot the order of how it goes, but man, if you just look at this shoe, so the the React 270 in itself, in and of itself, is a, is a cool shoe, um, aesthetically, it's a cool looking shoe, I don't know if anybody's ever um, wore them, I, I went to the store to try them on and see it, and it, and it felt weird walking in them, the transition from the air bubble to the React, like you get this hard air bubble and then you go to the soft React, so it was a weird transition, so I didn't pick them up. So, and it's a polarizing shoe. A lot of people love how it looks. A lot of people hate how it looks. So you have that, and then you have it on top of this ugly, muddy brown, doo doo brown midsole with this patched together upper. Some people are into that. Um, and and the thing that, that blows my mind is this shoe's gonna sell out um, because of the Cactus Jack Travis Scott um branding it's something that I definitely won't be picking up. Um, if I pick it up, I'm gonna try to get in like a size nine just so I can sell it, it will not ever be on my foot, um, because be honest with yourself, man, if this, if this exact colorway came out, and it wasn't called the Travis Scott React 270 or 270 Rack, but it was just called, like, the Shit Emoji 270, or the Poop Emoji 270, sorry, um, would you guys really grab these, man, or would they sit and end up at outlets and end up on sale and you're grabbing them for $60 four months down the line. I think the latter, man, this shoe is disgusting to me, but you know what I'm saying? People love Travis Scott. People love the hype, so they're going to grab him, man. And um, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, that's it for this video. So I'm going to let the timer run out and I'll get back on the video when I figure out if I got the shoes, um, the, the pine green off-white dunks or not. And then I'll let you guys know what I'm doing from there, man. So, surprise, surprise, my entry wasn't selected. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's what I expected. I do have a couple other raffles on different apps um, and through Instagram that I am entered in, but we know how this goes, man. It's an off-white release. It's limited. It's a very hype off-white off release. It's going to be worth a lot. Um, so, I wasn't able to get it. So, right away, what I'm going to do before everybody else does this, I'm going to go over on my app to end stock. You see the Animal Instinct Jordan 3s right there. Let's wait from the low, boom. Let's go up. See if they still have them in my size. They do, boom. 225. Make sure my adjust is right. Bang, bang. Buy now. And yeah, the app's going crazy right now. Um, and as you can see, as you guys can see, some just popped up. On the screen, I don't know what that was, but as you guys can see, man, I got them. Um, obviously, they were sitting like ducks, so it is what it is, man. I'm happy that I got that I grabbed them. I'm gonna take a screenshot, and you guys will definitely see the review of them when I get them in hand. Um, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on them, so we'll see when I get them in hand. Hopefully, they could get here before Christmas, man. If I do not do another video before Christmas, today is December. 20th. Hopefully I could get one out 
um, at least by Christmas Eve. But if not, man, I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, enjoy your time off. Enjoy your holiday, man. I really appreciate y'all for watching. Let me know what you guys know about this sneaker talk. I know it was pretty rough. Um, I had a general idea of where I wanted to go with it. But, um, you yeah, know, let me know what you guys think about sneaker talk. Just talking about sneaker news and sneaker culture in general. Maybe like live picking up a shoe. Maybe I should start going live. Um, let me know what you guys think. But like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Follow my Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. And I will see you guys at the next one.